While website menus have improved over the ages with drop-downs being available, the inclusion of mega menus to display large amounts of data, particularly for um, shopping e-commerce and shopping sites and um, sites like this Quicksilver, where you have like a mega menu that actually includes links, bunches of links, images, or um, even uh, images and buttons, um, or even Walmart, which has like uh, a clickable services panel where you can actually hover through and you can see that you can have a visual of what you're ordering. So it makes that things easy, such things easy. While you can use uh, plugins to provide mega menus like this Max Mega Menu, it's an additional load on your website, uh, particularly if you are using uh, a theme like Generate Press Pro, where you can create simple uh, list styled menus using just the normal menus by adding a little bit of CSS. I'll link to this article on Generate Press site. But if you are um, if you are an owner of Generate Press Pro, if you are using the Pro version or the premium version of Generate Press theme, uh, and if you are using Generate Blocks with it, you'll be able to build mega menus yourself quite easily. Things that look like and function like this. So I've got a simple uh, demo here for you. It's built using Generate Press Premium and Generate uh, Blocks uh, Pro. We need the Pro version of Generate Blocks because we're going to be using tabs. Let me show you how this works. So I can click and you can see that this looks very similar to all the mega menus out there. It's also quite responsive, right? So you can make it responsive. And all I've done, and here's the trick, all I've done is added an element. So Generate Press Premium allows you to create what's known as elements. So I went in here, I added an element by just clicking Add Element. I chose the block type and clicked Create. Then um, let me show you how I set it up. Then you go in, inside, um, you, do, you take care of a few things. It needs to be displayed across the entire site. Now you can set it so that it only displays on your blog, not on your entire site, maybe on your front page, only on your archive pages. So you can have the different mega menus on different sections of your site. You uh, can also include not just, uh, I'm only using WordPress blocks here, but you can also include e-commerce um, inclusions like WooCommerce blocks in here to display products and things like that. Um, and all you do is you need to use the hook type. So you set it to a hook and it's going to show up after the header, right? So that it shows up above my content, but inside the header. And this way it's all responsive. So even on a mobile site, I have like my main menu there, but my mega menu is also here. Now you could in, encapsulate this in, in or wrap it in another accordion menu to show it as an accordion. That's another next step, but keep it simple. Um, and here's how I built it, right? So all I'm using here is tabs. So if you are not familiar with tabs, let's go have a look. Here's an example with simple tabs. So all you do is build you take your tabs and you style them slightly so i've added a couple of containers i've styled the containers to have like a white background and use the second container to align the content in the middle then i use the tabs block now generate blocks comes with a few blocks and i've used the tabs block to create these tabs and then what i've done is within the tabs you go into each tabs you can if you go into the tab buttons, you can start coloring them, adding background colors and so forth. I've, I've chosen to remove all the background colors, except when I go into the button itself, I've set the text to be these colors. Normally, the buttons would have like a, a blue background uh, by default. I remove the background colors and just set the text to like a, like a link colors, whatever your link colors are. That's what you would set them. And then where it says tab content, here, you can throw in all different kinds of blocks, right? So what do I mean by that? You can go now instead of this paragraph, which I have, I just have a paragraph, I deleted that. You can click on plus and you can throw in things like a grid, right? So I can set a grid and I can throw in a three column grid, a four column grid, and inside that grid, I can throw in other blocks, 
right? So I can create this grid with blocks and I can include blocks like images, more grids, headlines, buttons, whatever I want to throw in. And that includes things like WooCommerce products can be thrown in. And that then generates a menu that looks like this. And then people can actually navigate. You can even throw a gallery. And if you throw in captions, the galleries can then be linked, right? You can link away to other locations, right? So you can create a very good looking mega menu with Generate Press Premium. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please write in the comments below how you love using this, um, uh, this tip. If you found this tip useful, please let me know and uh, also share in some of the styling that you have applied on your own mega menus. All the very best.